I'm going to throw up. <laughs> I've been waiting for this day for like, uh, like, like, like five years. And I never thought it would come. And here we are. Whew, okay. It's going to be fine. I'm fine. I'm totally fine. Hi y'all, it's Annalise, and <laughs> so my mom very generously offered to get me my graduation present early because as she says, and I also believe in this too when it comes to like gift giving and stuff, is like, well, if it's something that you can use now, why wait until the day comes up? Obviously that doesn't apply to everything, but uh, I'm graduating grad school next year and that's like a big, that's like a big deal. According to me and, and my mom, and I think a lot of people, getting a master's degree is a big deal. And so she also thought it would be great to get a big deal gift. So <laughs> let's open this thing up. I'm so, I literally, it's been sitting in my house for a couple hours because I wouldn't open it unless if I was on camera. This is the RF 24 to 70 F2.8 L series. Mm. ISUSM. I still don't know what USM means, but I know I as is image stabilization. <laughs> Okay, I, I've been doing a lot of research, watching a lot of videos, thinking a lot. Because essentially, I kind of had the option of, obviously, one, what I wanted my gift to be, but two, between three lenses. And this is the one I ultimately decided to get, because I know with me doing photos and video, that's my priority, and the image stabilization is the thing that sold me. I, 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 let me, I'm just gonna shut up. I'm gonna open this thing. Oh, oh, and it comes with a case! Oh, wow, okay. These little bags feel so fancy. When I got my Canon R5 last year, and I got the 24 to 105, which like technically the kit lens, but also not entirely. And I don't think I really realized that at the time because maybe I would have gotten a different lens, but this one came with the bag. It's also an L series. I love it. It's just an F4. So it's great for zoom shots, but just not, it's not my favorite for portraits, but anyway. Oh, oh there it is. It's already out. Okay. Oh my God. Oh, wow. Anything else? Nope, that's it. Okay. And it comes with a lens hood. Oh, it's beefy. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> wow. Dude, get out of town. I can't believe I own two L series lenses. It, this is unreal. Oh my God. Okay, let's see. Size comparison. Oh, <gasps> it's. What? 24 to 105. Oh, it's heavier too. Oh boy. 24 to 70. Oh my God. Whoa, I wasn't expecting it to be that much longer. <gasps> No regrets, no regrets. Still great decision. Still, it's, it's, it has its own purpose. Oh my God, this feels insane. Okay. Ah! That is a beefy boy. Not as heavy as I was expecting. Okay, it's definitely heavier. I think the weight is like 2.6 pounds or something like that. So it's heavier, but not as heavy as the 28 to 70, which is over three pounds. That was one of my main reasons for not going with the 28 to 70 because of how heavy it is. Okay, I'm just, we're, I'm gonna, this is, this is at 35 right now. This is my 35. F 1.8. I'm gonna go ahead and put this lens on now and see what it looks like. Oh my gosh. I, yeah, there's nothing interesting to an unboxing of a lens because they they keep it pretty simple. Lens, lens hood, bag, legal information. Oh, I also bought my first filter. It is a UV filter. Um, Never heard of these, but it's supposed to protect it from the light or something. No, no, we'll see. Okay. <laughs> Whoa, okay. Let's, okay, this is 35, so that's like the same. I don't think anything has changed. That's, not gonna lie, that's, oh, this looks weird looking down. <gasps> this is really fast autofocus, I have to say. Less. <laughs> it's hard to say on first impressions. I mean, that, I, I do have to say though, I do enjoy a 24 and a 24 at an F2.8 versus the 24 at the F4 on, this guy, like I can't say much, but like I really, this is a, this is just, this is about 30. Yeah. I mean, it's really going to see how it turns out when it comes to photos, but the fact that I have this like one lens that can do all of these things as far as like just working in low light, that is like, honestly, if this thing had a lower aperture or a wider aperture, it would be the perfect lens because you can zoom really far and it goes out to 105, but the F4 I feel like is really limiting sometimes, especially when it comes to portraits. And so being that I take a lot of portraits. Having a lens like this, I mean. I, f 
feel like that's really fast. I don't know, maybe I'm just being crazy, but I, I have to go take some pictures of some stuff now because I, I, I don't know what else there is really to say. Um, I guess I think I'm just gonna keep this one short. So if there's any specific things you wanna see me test in like a review or something, I'm definitely gonna wanna do some video and test out the image stabilization. I know I'm gonna wanna do some different portraits because obviously we have this awesome, you're like, I'm touching the lens. You're getting almost my full wingspan of view of the camera. And then we've got, you know, the 35, 50, 70. I'm really excited to do portraits with 70. 70 at F2.8, I think is gonna look really nice. Cause that, my go-to for portraits used to be my nifty 50, the EF, uh, um, 50 mil, what is this? 1.8, but since with the adapter for the RF lenses, it does like a crop. It just doesn't give me the look I, or I think there's a crop. No, there's no crop. That's what it is. There's no crop. And so I think the compression and the crop on my 80D, I really got used to how that looked, which I believe comes out to be around 65 or 70. I could just be totally pulling this out my ass, but I think I'm gonna really like shooting at 70 for portraits. But just the fact that I can go from like lifestyle shots, full body portraits, like, oh yeah, I'm really stoked. Oh, shooting this. I'm going to Disneyland Paris in like two weeks and I'm bringing this lens with me. It's for one of my friend's birthdays. So I'm gonna be doing photos there. I'm gonna be taking photos of the parade. Because I think the first time I went, I only had this lens with me. There's a lot of things I need to test out. So let me know what you want to test out, what you, what you want me to test out. But I'm very excited. And thank you, thank you, thank you again to my mom for this amazing, super generous graduation gift. And I can't wait to see what I create with this lens. Okay. Uh, this was a short one, uncommon on this channel, but thanks for watching. Of course, before I go, I have to say a thank you to all of my patrons, especially all my top tier patrons. That's who you're seeing on screen right now. Thank you so much to my Patreon community. You support me and my channel and all the things I love to do creatively. And I cannot thank you enough for all of your support, especially through these last couple of months. Y'all are rock stars. If you want to be a patron, patreon.com slash Annalise. Thank you so much to my patrons of past, present, and future. Y'all are amazing. Stay beautiful, have a marvelous day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.